Yeah, we've got some uh, 30 tonne trucks coming up here, so we need to basically make a wider and longer ramp uh, to suit the trucks that are going to be coming up here. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. How wide are you thinking? Just... Yeah, four metres either side would be good. Yeah, okay. Right, yeah. Well, four metres will be good. Um, in terms of length, if I, if I finish the ramp where it finishes now, um, but start it a bit further back so we can get a bit of a, a um, not such a steep grade on it, maybe I'll start it a um, couple of lengths back behind the dozer there. Yeah, it'd be good to get a, a smooth curve and a consistent grade so the trucks can come up here nice and easy. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Now we should be able to do that. I can use infield designs and the earthwork system in the dozer here. Um, what I'll probably do is just lay out some stones and I can kind of paint them so I can see them. So I'll just lay out some stones every 10 metres and, and that way I'll get that smooth um, alignment. I can lay them out by the centre line of the ramp, have a look back through them and I might just have to adjust them. Um, so that I get a nice smooth um, alignment there and then I can pick those stones up like points um, with the blade of the machine and then we'll, we'll have that design and we can work for that. Okay, so we need to create an infield design now. So from the dashboard, we go into the job setup menu. So under mode, we change the selection to infield. And then we come down to design and we press this button here to create a new design. We're going to use alignment and section. So our blue stones are the alignment. And then we'll um, create a basic section for the width of the road and the shape of the road. We're going to use the focus tip of the of the blade, so we're going to use the machine and the blade focus tip to pick up the blue stones as our alignment. So I need to check here that I've got the correct focus tip selected. So it is correct, it's the right focus tip on the blade, the right tip of the blade is what I'm going to use to pick up the stones. So I'm ready just to add a point with this button here that's highlighted in blue. And there's my first point added. So now I'll move the dozer and we'll pick up the second point. Okay, so we're at the second point on the alignment now, the second blue stone, so all we simply have to do is just add the next point. There it is there. And now we're ready to move on to the next one. So we've picked up all our blue stones now, so we've got our alignment um, from the, the top of the ramp down to the bottom where we are now. Uh, we've got a nice smooth curve um, in, in those 10 metre spacings that we that we paced out and we can smooth it up a wee bit more by eye while we're building it. What we want to do now is just make sure that we've got that constant mainful grade. So I go into the elevation tab here and you can see that we start off up the top, it was quite flat up the top and then we steepen up as we come down that grade. So I just want to go from the start to the end, so from the start to the end, make sure my blue circles are on the start point and the end point, and then I can use this button here to smooth that grade out from the start to the end, 
and I've got that nice constant main fall down my ramp. And I can hit next. So I'm going to use to build my, my profile for the cross section, so that's going to be the width and the shape. Uh, I'm going to use on screen. So the first thing we do is add a point for our section or profile and then we can edit the, the width um, running up and down the ramp we need four meters either side of the center line and put a, a crown on it so we'll give it a little bit of slope to shed the water of three percent so you can see that's just lifted it up in the middle there a little and then we can use this button to mirror from the end and get four meters on the other side um, at three percent falling away the other way so we've got a a crown there, four meters either side. Simply hit next, and we can just move that attachment point. So at the moment, we're all on the um, on the right hand side of the alignment on the stones that we picked up from the top to the bottom. So we'll just move that attachment point. So we've got four meters on either side there, and we we can also look at that in three D. So you can see we're coming. From the, the top there, we've got a nice curve and a constant main fall all the way from the top to the bottom. I can name it here, I can change the name, but I'm happy with ramp 1. And these ones, A and B, I can extend it um, beyond the starting point and beyond the finish point. I've picked up the start and end of the ramp as I want them, so I don't need to worry about extending. So I just hit apply. It's selected there in the list. It's saved at this point, so I can select that. Ramp 1 selected as my design. Apply that. And it just shows us off design. I've got a big cross section view there. I like working in the cross section, but I'll just change that view to show you in plan. And there's our ramp. We're just sitting off the end of it, but you can see that. So it says off design. When we back back up, I'll back the dozer back up to the start, here we are here, and I'll push that material from the top to form this ramp. So you can see the design there. You can see we've also got our other site like line work laid over the top, so that's quite neat. I can be working on my temporary ramp design and I can also see the other line work um, for the site there as well.